Yeah, so um, and the topic of the session was economic aspects of water quality management. But I think that we didn't, we couldn't manage to discuss much about economics. And um, yeah, I'm an economist, but uh, except uh, Dr. Lalika's uh, paper, the other papers were more like management papers. But anyway, uh, maybe my colleague Professor Nakamura will add something later. Uh, his paper was about uh, monitoring and assessment of governance improvement in integrated lake basin basin management, and he basically introduced uh, this integrated lake base uh, manage, uh, lake basin management uh, approach and how to assess the improvement of lake basin uh, governance by using some indicators. And he also used the case of Lake Biwa. Uh, the second presentation by, was by Dr. Aluri uh, Nagavarma. And he talked about the interface between climate change, water conflicts, and human security. And here, uh, the main point was that uh, as a result of uh, climate change, uh, we have a uh, high possibility of various conflicts over water. So we need to think about various policy responses to uh, these future risks. And he introduced uh, two uh, policy responses, like uh, forming some associations of water users in Egypt and in an insurance scheme in Turkey against crop losses. The third presentation was by Dr. Zati Sharip from Malaysia and she introduced uh, um, her um, research about development of national lake water quality standards for sustainable management of lakes and reservoirs in Malaysia. So basically, uh, the topic, uh, the, the talk was about the use of um, uh, national lake water quality standards um, to manage uh, uh, the water quality in lakes and reservoirs. And uh, also she mentioned about some dialogue with stakeholders or stakeholder consultations uh, to uh, improve these uh, lake quality uh, standards. The fourth presentation was by Dr. Lalika about Tanzania. The topic was exploring the potential for watershed conservation for enhancing water quantity and quality, upstream and downstream linkages. Uh, so Dr. Lalika uh, um, studied about the potential for payment for watershed services along Pangani River Basin in Tanzania. And the idea was that uh, we should provide certain incentives to upstream communities to protect watersheds. Therefore, we need to devise payment schemes to ensure effective collection of fees, fees from downstream water users. So my impression was that we couldn't really discuss about economic aspects. And maybe in the future, we should uh, define more uh, precisely what do we mean by economic aspects because one way of looking at it could be like purely mainstream economics which I don't think it's a very suitable approach and uh, I thought that uh, the study of Dr. Walika provided some kind of clues about how to use uh, economic economic approach to water quality management thank you very much